Hey, Scott Grove here from Imagine Grove. I got another finishing tip for you, or this is a finishing spray room or finishing process tip. For those who you occasionally need to do some sort of production run, maybe you're doing a bunch of drawer fronts or something like that, and, and you never have enough room to, to, to spread them out and dry them, so you need a drying rack, but those drying racks take up a lot of space. So what I've done is I've come up with this sort of drying rack, and um, it works really well because I've used a French cleat, and I can move these back and forth and gang them up. I got more hanging over here, so I can do short pieces or long pieces. But the beauty of the system is that I've cut on my French cleat, another sort of female French cleat, and I can then turn these sideways and hang them that way to get them out of the way. Because boy, you cut your head on one of these things and you're gonna regret it. So you can store them against the wall. Uh, I've seen some people who have hinges on them, but this just seems to work real quick and easy to make. I can turn them, set them wherever I want, and in this case, I'm going to want them look closer. In addition, I then take, this is just half-inch EMT, electrical conduit. You can get it at any big box store, drill some holes, glue that in. And then I bought some half-inch PVC pipe, right? I cut them off, and I snap them on. And what that does is when I'm resting my panels on here, it raises it up because these kind of get crudded up and it keeps the contact point to a minimum. And lastly, what I do is I actually put a little piece of masking tape on there because the little plastic pieces get crudded up too and you don't want that transferring over. So that's what all the glue tape is. Put that on and I'm sort of good to go and I can change that tape out as need be. So there's my finishing drying rack storage mobile tip for you. Thanks for watching. Remember to sign up for or subscribe wherever those buttons are and check out my free newsletter uh, at imaginegrove.com. I've got a lot of um, design tips on that and I share with everybody. So thanks for watching. Okay.